Hello everyone, back to today's first video. Going to have a look at the JMA for the next three months of today's uh, first video. So this is ahead of the um, third and final seasonal model roundup for the summer of 2018 that will be coming up on Saturday morning. A couple of days away, you'll be able to see all the long range models together, including this one, including the JMA. We'll bring them all together and you'll be able to see for the final time what all of the long range models from the major forecasting centres are predicting for the summer of uh, 2018 uh, and that'll be Saturday's first video but ahead of that we always like to isolate out the JMA just to see uh, in depth what it shows because you can, can get a lot of information uh, from this model and because we've got something like 12 or 13 long range models to bring together in uh, Saturday's season one roundup we won't have time to go into all of the detail that you can get from the JMA. So we're going to isolate it out. We'll have a look at the uh, full summer forecast from the JMA uh, for today's first video and see what it's showing. I'll go back to you in a second. Just to say that day's second video coming up later this afternoon. We'll have a look at the weather for the next week to 10 days. And then tonight, I think we get a little storm watch going perhaps uh, around 7 o'clock. But signing it all off is the uh, JMA three monthly forecast covering the full summer period. These are the 500 millibar high denominators broken down into monthly periods uh, from the North Pole view down. So that's the North Pole of the Northern Hemisphere around there. Middle latitudes of the Northern Hemisphere are around there. Uh, so 500 millibars, 8,000 feet, is there in, in the absolute high pressure, low pressure, being moved around by the jet stream. Uh, blue extrapolates to low pressure, yellow, orange and red extrapolates to high pressure. So for June, this would be um, mean uh, 500 millibar uh, height anomaly for June. For June, we have below average heights, low pressure up to the north of the country and above average heights, which is higher pressure, down to the south and also through the uh, Atlantic. The flow on the jet stream will be coming through, uh, coming through rather like that. So it's quite a flat sort of westerly flow that we've got going on there. Uh, so essentially a westerly month, most unsettled in the north, driest conditions in the south, but all places will get some uh, sort of showery bursts of rain. Then we go through to July, and this is how we look for July. We've got an area of above, <coughs> excuse me, above average heights uh, through the Atlantic and also ridging to the west of the uh, UK, the uh, jet stream would be uh, going up there somewhere. So it looks like it's fairly settled, but I would expect quite a bit of dry weather. Uh, the only fly in the ointment is probably all a bit westerly. So uh, although the jet stream is pushed off just to the north of us, the flow, I think, would generally be coming in from the Atlantic. There's nothing really to pull up southerly or easterly or southeasterly uh, winds. So essentially it's a westerly flow, albeit a reasonably dry one, most unsettled in the north again, uh, and temperatures probably only at uh, average sort of temperatures with the wind coming off the Atlantic. The Atlantic in summer is always going to be a cooler direction to a continental flow. And of course in winter, the reverse is true, an Atlantic flow in winter is always going to be warmer than a continental flow. So it flips around from summer to winter. But in winter, if you're getting the mean flow coming in from the west or the northwest, then you'll tend to, uh, you'll tend to have uh, just average sort of temperatures. And then we go through to August, and again, nothing particularly exciting going on this summer for JMA is right. It's all looking very, uh, very average, really. You've got below average heights, or above average heights, I should say, through the Atlantic and extending uh, to the south of the country. No real area of below average heights, but you would expect low pressure and the jet stream to be up here, and maybe a little bit more of an influence of a jet stream if anything, through August. Again, everything is looking rather westerly. Again, no real suggestion, no real sign of easterlies or southerlies or southeasterlies. So just relatively dry for the south in the summer, always more unsettled up in the north, rather westerly, so temperatures no better than uh, sort of close to average. Let's have a look at the tropical and mid-latitude view then, and we'll have a look at temperature and precipitation anomalies that go with those heights. So coming back to June, uh, this is the um, 500 millibar 
height anomaly uh, for June. Let's just check to uh, make sure I've got the right chart up here. So, yes, I've got first month. So, we've got June uh, up there. Uh, and we find that for the 500 millibar height anomaly um, for June. And uh, by the way, British Isles just here in the top right hand corner of the chart. Uh, she's looking at it. Uh, a reminder of that. So, we've got below average heights, low pressure to the north of the country, above average heights in the middle of the Atlantic, and going through to the south. And the flow and the jet would be coming through. Uh, rather like that. It means that the temperature anomaly uh, for the summer is coming out average to maybe ever so slightly cooler than average for western parts of the country, just because the flow is all coming in from off the Atlantic. So no better than near normal temperatures uh, for June. Uh, for the country in June. And in terms of precipitation, actually quite unsettled, particularly so for the north, but just about all places are coming out with slightly above average rainfall. So if this is right, this is a big flip on what's happened in May. May has been a very warm, very dry month with lots of easterly and southerly winds. This looks like a big change around uh, on that. The mean wind arrows, always a job to make these black arrows out, but the mean wind arrows uh, coming from sort of a west northwesterly uh, direction. So that's the reason it's relatively cool. And of course, that's the reason it's unsettled because the air is coming in from off the Atlantic. Moving through to July, so this is the 500 millibar height anomaly for July. The ridge is out in the Atlantic and building into the UK. It looked like the jet stream would be going a bit further north uh, through July as well. The uh, precipitation anomaly is drying out, so we are going uh, more onto the drier side uh, for July. That's an improvement. Uh, temperature anomalies are, again, rather modest, really. Close to average, cooler than average to the west of us, near normal to maybe a little bit above average elsewhere, but not a big deviation. The mean wind arrows uh, for July are coming in uh, from a westerly uh, sort of direction there to the south of us. We have got easterlies, which will be bring warmer air down to central southern parts of Europe. But for us, we have an influence from the Atlantic in July, uh, which looks as though it would be relatively uh, relatively cool, I suppose, with the air coming in from the Atlantic. And then through to August, we've got the ridge through the central part of the Atlantic Ocean and down to our southwest. Looks like we've got influence from the jet stream as well, coming through the country uh, rather like that in August. The precipitation anomaly, it's more uh, unsettled for the north, a bit wetter than average for Scotland, near normal precipitation elsewhere. So not a bad summer from a rainfall perspective. June looks a bit wet, but July and August, not too bad. Temperatures still continue to look rather modest overall, just uh, below average to the west of the UK, near normal elsewhere, no big deviation really coming through either way. The uh, mean wind direction again for August, it looks like the black arrows are blowing from the west in what is a very westerly summer. And although it's not overly wet, it not seem to be overly wet, there's a lot of westerlies going on here. And so that's the reason temperatures overall are just coming out close to average. So it's not the most exciting uh, update, not, not most exciting summer we've ever had. Um, just lots of high pressure to the south and low pressure to the north. And so we come out just rather average with the temperatures, lots of westerly winds, relatively dry from these ridges in the south. So I suppose a relatively pleasant uh, summer in the south, always more unsettled in the north. June looks the most unsettled month of all, and that would be a really big flip in June on what we've had uh, in May. So let's wait and see whether the JMA is right uh, about that. So that's how the summary is looking with the Japanese uh, seasonal model. Uh, as I say, this will form part of the uh, overall summer 2018, third and final summer 2018 seasonal model roundup. That will be with you first thing on Saturday uh, morning. So um, it will include part of that. You'll be able to see, of course, how many of the other long range uh, models from the other forecast centres are agreeing. Uh, with the JMA, uh, and that will all be coming up on Saturday. Today's second video update will be with you later on this afternoon, and that's going to extend it out into the next week to 10 days, so come back for that. That's all for now, and thanks for watching.